Proton Mail, the encrypted email startup that uh, promises an easy way to use encrypted email to secure your correspondence with with other people. NSA can't read it. People can't intercept your emails and and read them and learn about your private life and all that. So Proton Mail guys are some scientists from MIT and CERN, which is the big sciencey place in Switzerland. That's a technical term, by the way, sciencey place. <laughs> and they are in the process of making this great email application that encrypts your emails and makes it private again. They have an Indiegogo co- campaign uh, where they're raising funds. They've raised over three hundred thousand dollars so far, but unfortunately, last week or earlier this week, uh, they had their PayPal funds frozen for no apparent reason, and they didn't have access to their money for uh, around twenty-four hours. And during that time, uh, they asked people to do Bitcoin donations instead. If you emailed them, you could tell them or verify which Bitcoin donation was yours and which perks you wanted to make it equivalent to the Indiegogo campaign. So uh, (laughs) there was a big uproar that happened on the Bitcoin subreddit and people went crazy uh, because this seemed like an attack by PayPal on uh, privacy-centric email. And PayPal um, actually listened for once and restored the the payments the next day. So, you know... um, Bitcoin supporters, I guess, kind of saved the day again a little bit <laughs> and uh, got PayPal to to come back on board with this privacy email campaign. Yeah, I mean, good for PayPal for listening to uh, the public, but um, I just really think PayPal is a bad service just in general when compared with Bitcoin. PayPal was really mm-hmm. great in the 2000s, you know, when all we had was like um, wire transfers from yeah. bank account to bank account, which... Uh, are much slower than PayPal. Uh, but now that we have Bitcoin, uh, pay, it just seems like PayPal operates at a snail's pace, you know? Like, yeah, it's obsolete. Uh, yeah, it, it's just... It, it's just outdated. Because uh, Bitcoin is just so much faster. Like, even if you don't... Even if you're not <clears throat> a hardcore point enthusiast like we are and you know use bitcoin as like currency you might just use it as like you know a small investment yeah. or you use it to like quickly transfer uh transfer fiat money to another person instantly um you know it's still a better service uh than paypal just because mm. it has instant transactions and like virtually no transaction fees mm. like somebody uh pr- Almost a month ago now, somebody sent me twenty dollars on PayPal, um, and not only did they did PayPal take a dollar out of that, so I only have nineteen dollars now. Access to that nineteen dollars for three days until July sixth, and yeah. I got the money like almost a month ago. Yeah. Um, if you yeah. know, if somebody sends me twenty dollars uh, on the blockchain with Bitcoin, I'll have it. I'll have it instantly, and I'll get six confirmations, you know, within like 10 to 20 minutes, and then I'll have complete control over it. So I just think PayPal is really outdated, and Bitcoin is way cooler. Yeah, it's obsolete. And I think this this whole Proton Mail fiasco kind of proved that in a way, because once PayPal froze their funds, what well, was they said it was it was because of an error. Like they they're not totally used to dealing with these crowdfunding campaigns yet which is weird like this is we're in the middle of 2014 and paypal still hasn't figured out an efficient way to do to do you know crowdfunding campaigns yet i mean kickstarter is going crazy and they still can't do this but like they they froze the funds and the indiegogo uh people just said okay just or no the 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 proton mail people just said use use bitcoin instead and use just regular credit card transactions instead because those still worked as well. It's just PayPal that didn't work. So it's like if PayPal wants to be jerks and freeze people's funds all the time, they're just going to use something else to bring in the money. They're going to use Bitcoin instead, which is faster and, and lower fees and everything. And they realized that, you know, PayPal realized that we... Um, are just going to use a different system if theirs doesn't work for us the right way. Yeah, and... I hear, I've heard stories before from YouTubers, uh, 
who make a living from making YouTube videos, yeah, uh, a, a lot of them use PayPal when because you know their their entire business is online and PayPal is obviously faster than traditional uh, uh, banking wire transfer services. Yeah. And so a lot of a lot of their uh, uh, a lot of their uh, monetary transactions are happen on PayPal. Mm. And one story in particular that uh, sticks out in my mind is FPS Russia uh, told a story on a podcast that I watch about how one time he got he got a payment. Uh, he he made a business like some kind of business deal with somebody, and they sent him like. I think it was like forty thousand dollars to his PayPal account, and um, PayPal decided that that was a suspicious activity, and they just uh, locked his account up, and he didn't have access to the money. And when he was telling the story, it was like um, it was like three or four weeks after this happened, and so you know forty thousand dollars is a lot of money, mm-hmm. uh, and um, so that's just like a month basically. Where he's just got forty thousand dollars sitting in a PayPal account that he has no access to, yeah. and uh, it's, yeah, PayPal does some pretty ridiculous things sometimes. Yeah, drawbacks of a centralized payment processor, right? They yeah. have the power to just freeze funds, and um, when when the Proton Mail thing happened, and uh, during the during the twenty four hours when they didn't have access to the funds, they emailed PayPal and asked them what was going on, or no, they they talked to a to a customer service rep and the rep said that uh possibly uh the account was frozen because the uh, the encrypted mail e- c- encrypted email doesn't have government approval uh to to, to they don't have approval to do that from the government so that's why their funds were frozen okay that brings up several different pro- problematic questions like number one, since when does PayPal try and enforce you know uh, federal laws? Number yeah. two, since when is it even illegal to to encrypt email? <laughs> what it's it's crazy. Like, we have the Fourth Amendment in the United States, first of all, and it's in the Constitution. You can't uh, the the government can't go into people's private documents and letters and such. And encryption is specifically. Uh, protection against that intrusion so it doesn't make any sense why you would need government approval approval yeah, to do uh, that and also also we can just we can do whatever we want with our property you know that's guaranteed to us by the fourth amendment too because mm-hmm. uh it, it says all persons shall be secured in their in their property and their effects so you know that basically means not only do we have the security from government snooping but um pretty much whatever we do with our property is our own business. Yeah, it's secure so, from PayPal as well, or it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, so PayPal really has no place telling people what they can and can't do with their emails, and they they got a lot of flack uh, from PayPal, uh, not PayPal, from uh, the Bitcoin subreddit about that, because yeah. um, cause I saw a lot of people, they're like, oh, what, is, P- is PayPal like slaves to the NSA now? <laughs> like, what's going on here? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, this is just one more example in in a growing list of of PayPal of examples of PayPal trying to uh, manipulate people's funds because it, you know, it, it it drew red flags of being suspicious or whatever. Um, the biggest, the highest profile example a couple years ago is when um, people couldn't donate to WikiLeaks anymore. Because of what WikiLeaks revealed about the U.S. government and other governments around the world, and then PayPal wouldn't let people donate. Like when a payment processor starts restricting people from making payments, uh, that's a serious issue, and that's just one more example of why PayPal is now becoming an obsolete payment processor and why Bitcoin is superior. Yep, use Bitcoin. It's way better, and it's more valuable than the dollar, so that's cool, too. 